For many people, the brown bear is associated with the ecosystems of North America and Northern Eurasia. However, you might be surprised to find out that there once lived a subspecies of the brown bear that lived in Africa. This animal is known as the Atlas bear. The Atlas bear was recognized by the scientific community formally in 1840, when an English military officer named Crowther first found the animal in northern Africa. As a result, this animal's scientific name is Ursus arctos crowtheri, although some people consider it to be its own species, Ursus crowtheri. The Atlas bear is named after the Atlas Mountains which made up its primary habitat, although it could also be found in North African countries such as Algeria, Morocco, and Libya. Just like with brown bears such as the grizzly bear and the Eurasian brown bear, the Atlas bear found itself most at home in forest or mountainous environments. It's unlikely that this bear lived in regions south of the Sahara Desert such as the many African savannas, but it shared its habitat with many iconic savanna predators. These included the African leopard and the also recently extinct Barbary lion. The Atlas bear could measure up to 2.7 meters or 9 feet long and weigh up to 450 kilograms, around 1,000 pounds. On average, the Atlas bear was noticeably smaller than its northern cousins, with many of its proportions being as small or even smaller than that of the American black bear. It also differed in that its muzzle had a black mark as opposed to the white one we see on brown bears today, and that the fur on its underparts was of an orange color. The Atlas bear was known to be mostly herbivorous, consuming food such as acorn or nuts. That being said, just like other bears, it could have consumed meat such as carrion as well. Genetic studies of the Atlas bear bring up some surprising insights as to its relationship between different populations of brown bears. For one, they reveal that the Atlas bear isn't closely related to the brown bears of the Middle East such as the Syrian brown bear. This means that the migration of the brown bear to Africa was a movement that dates back even further into prehistory. There are also studies that show that the Atlas bear could not be genetically linked to any other population of brown bear indicating how distinct this population of Ursus arctos was. Despite only being given a proper scientific name in 1844, the Atlas bear had shared a long history with human beings. One such group of humans that had a huge impact on the bear populations was the Roman Empire. During the Romans' conquest of North Africa, they oftentimes ended up hunting this bear. In addition, many individuals were captured and put into arenas where they were pitted against other animals such as lions or tigers in addition to Roman gladiators. The Atlas bear became even more threatened after the invention of firearms, and in 1870, the last Atlas bear was shot and killed in Morocco. The Atlas bear represented an example of a well-known animal in an unconventional location, and without the proper conservation efforts, other rare brown bear subspecies, from the Gobi bear of Mongolia to the Tibetan blue bear, could meet the same fate. 